Hi everyone, Sarah here from The Paper Cut. Um, first, we're gonna make sure that we have volume and you can all see me actually <laughs> that our volume's not on here. Um, so I can see me, so that's good. So let me know if you can hear me. Actually, let me grab my phone, I can check. Yep, okay. We have volume, we have video. So we're good. Okay. Hi everyone. Sarah here from The Paper Cut. <coughs> um, we're here for our Thursday night demo. My mom is with us and she is feeling much better than she was last week. Yeah. So, although she was just coughing a little bit, but it's much better. So she shouldn't have been here last week. Um, but she's gotten better throughout the week. So she's doing good. Say hi, mom. Hi there, everybody. See, everybody knows you're here yeah. and doing good. Um, so And it's warm out. And it's warm out here in Wisconsin, yeah, which we haven't had for a while. So, um, so tonight we're doing grad cap cards, but let's just review some things that are going on here at the paper cut. So on the 14th, we have our crafters classroom. It's our first one. And we're doing magic cards. So we're doing three magic cards. They're on our page right now to order. So what's different about these magic cards than other times that I've done magic cards is these aren't colored. So you actually have to color these. That's your homework. Um, so that's on Saturday the 14th. Now, a while ago I had talked about, and last year, I did like a May mini event. Well, I didn't get my crap together to get my classes designed in order to get them out to do it the week before. So I was trying to think, you know, since I'm doing the 14th, how do we like incorporate that all together? So this is what I'm going to do. Um, the 14th is a Saturday. We're doing our first crafters classroom. We will do a fun time Thursday on the 12th and on the 13th, which I think is going to be bib cards, and I have a couple of those designed already. And then on the 13th, which is a Friday, we're going to do Waterfall Friday. So it, it'll kind of be like a mini event, two classes here, then one on the 14th. So I do have my Waterfall cards done. So this is one Waterfall card, and I can't even see what I'm doing, so hopefully it's working. Um, so that's one. And then the other one is this one. I'm not sure if I like those butterflies or not, but I put them on there. Um, so these are kind of sideway ones. So this will be on the 13th. I don't have it posted yet. So I'm going to get it posted as soon as I finish either my bib cards or my or shutter or double shutter. I don't know. I have some bib cards designed. I'm just not sure whether they're my fave or not. So, um, and I was going to finish that up tomorrow, but now I might have the grandson tomorrow. So he takes priority over designing for the paper cut. Um, so anyways, plan on getting that up over the weekend. So we'll start our mini May event on the 7th, which is a Saturday. We'll start it this time with a comment sold. Lately, we've been ending it with a comment sold, and it's kind of, it's kind of a... Oh, it's it's kind of weird with the shipping like if people paid shipping on the paper cut and then the pip the comment sold charges you shipping so we're gonna start on the 7th with a comment sold sale um, and that will charge you shipping and then we'll do on our paper cut site we'll do a discount code we'll do um, and that whole week so after the 7th um, where you can add on to your order then we'll do our Thir fun time Thursday, our waterfall Friday, our crafters classroom magic card, and we'll end it on the 14th. So I'll send an email out about that um, so it's a little bit more understandable. Um, but yeah, it's just a little bit opposite of what we normally do. I'm going to try that because yeah, it's always weird with comments sold and shipping and all that. Um, so we're going to try it this way. And that gives me a little bit more time to get my cards designed, get them all shipped out, and I will do an email as soon as I have that all up, hoping this weekend. So that's what's going on at the paper cut. Let's go down to the table and we will do um, our grand <laughs> cap cards. Here, there. Okay, so we're there. 
So here we go. Grad cap cards. I don't even have a sample of one, so I have to actually make it. Um, but we have these cards. They're called grad cap cards, and they're scored, and it's a diagonal score. And the way that they sell the most is this way, as a 10-count kit where you get a black card and a white layer, which I'll show you in a minute. But we do have a bunch of them that are school colors. So like this is my son's school colors, <clears throat> or his might be a little, he's Iowa State. It might be a little bit more red. This might be too dark of a red. Um, but I figured I'm going to do this one tonight and get ready. He's graduating uh, either in December or May. Can't so, miss it. <laughs> what? Can't miss and it. And we can't miss it. So, so I'm going to, I'm starting early getting his card done. So hopefully he's not watching. Um, so anyways, we'll do the grad cap card, but I'm also going to do a card that's not a grad cap card because you hear grad cap card and you're like, I don't have any graduations, so I don't really need those cards. But I'm going to show you another fun card that you could do. Um, thinking outside the box, you could use it for anything. So let's go first. Let's just talk about the fold. So the bumps are on the inside. Um, this is the outside. And kind of this is from the outside. It's a mountain fold, a mountain fold, and a valley fold. And then that kind of pushes in and it folds down. So sure. from, <clears throat> from the opposite, oh, is there a question, Mom? Yeah, do you sell 100 pound 12 by 12 card stock? We do, yep. Yep, we do have 100 pound Cougar. So on the main page, bulk papers on the left hand side, if you click on that, there's a box. Um, probably about halfway through that screen that says 100 pound stocks. Click on that. You can pick from 100 pound stocks. Um, but the white cougar opaque if you're looking for a nice white 100 pound. Um, anyways, from the opposite side, it would be a valley fold, a valley fold, a mountain fold, and then again, that's going to push in and fold down. So that gives like your, um, what is that called? A mortar board. So that's just a plain white one. So let's go on to the kit. So the kit, remember I was talking about they have school colors. Well, they have all kinds of, we have all kinds of school, they, it's we. We have all kinds of school colors. We have the blue, we have the brighter red, we have a deep green, we have an orange, we have like a Kelly green, we have purple, and we have a gold. So that covers, and then the deep red that I'm using. Um, so that covers a lot of different school colors. Or you can get just the black and white one, which would include the black card and the white layer, um, which goes on the inside. Remember, this is the twist and pop layer too. So it's either the twist and pop layer or the grad cap layer. And then your added pieces if you get the school color ones are two other pieces these two pieces and they come the school color ones come in a five count kit otherwise the plain white one or the black with the white layers comes in a 10 count kit so but let's just go to folding again we are on the bump is on the inside we can valley fold it valley fold it so your x is the same valley valley and then your straight across is opposite so no matter which side you are the x is the same the straight across is the opposite it folds in and folds down so that's the basic of the card with your school color ones you get the card the insert a top coordinating color and then a band coordinating color. And then you would add other pieces. So let's just put this together. Um, I've pre-cut some grad words and I pre-cut some grads. Now these are impression obsession dies. Okay. Um, I pre-cut a couple other things. The hat, the scroll. I pre-cut a good luck, good luck. They made it through school, so that's good. Mm -hmm. um, so anyways, very simple. 
that's why I'm going to make two cards today because this one is pretty simple if you buy the um, colors. Oops, how come <clears throat> my tape gun didn't work? If you buy the school colors, you get a couple layers already pre-cut. So then it's nice and quick to put together. But if you don't know, if you have kids in different, you know, different colors, different schools, and you want to get just the black and white one. <laughs> now this piece can sit anywhere. But yeah, super quick and easy to put together. And it kind of looks like a hat, the graduation hat. This piece can go up here. I'm going to show you how to make your own paper tassel. So we're going to do that in just a minute after I get this put together. Um, I'm going to put the tassel in the, in, the, in the middle, but then I did, I'm going to wait to put this guy on. And then I have the word grad that I'm going to put down here. I did cut out a couple things for the inside too. So let me get my uh, micro dot adhesive. This one's getting pretty used, so hopefully I pick up some dots here. A few. Does this card fit in an A2 envelope? It does fit in an A2 envelope. And I think I have one here so I can show you. I do. So this is the envelope. And see how it fits in the A2. Okay. So yes, it fits in an A2 envelope. I did cut out a piece for the inside because if you want to make it coordinating, I just got a piece of coordinating cardstock. Um, and I do want to take, and I pre-cut this one, but I'll kind of show you how I did. So I did a piece for on the, um, to go across the middle. So I'm just going to show you how I did that. I kind of took a piece of black I turned it over, made sure it was centered. That's the hard part. You could use a piece of removable tape to hold it in place if you wanted. You all know that I'm kind of a go for it kind of gal. So I'm just gonna kind of hold it and cut my angles. So now I have that angle cut. I am gonna just kind of push this over because I want a little bit of a border. Okay, and then I can turn it over again, make sure I'm centered as best as possible. When you're a go for it kind of gal, sometimes it's centered, sometimes it's a little bit off, but you know what, it's okay. Oops, I cut a little bit of my square. Shame on me. Um, but that's okay. It's going to a graduate. If it's a high school graduate, hopefully they'll save the card, but they might not. Um, if it's a college graduate, they probably will save it for a little while. Actually, I'm going to snip a little bit more off of there. So I'm just going to extend that. I want a little bit bigger border. You're probably saying, oh, it doesn't really matter. It's good. But every once in a while, I like to futz, fuss with it. Okay, so I have that piece. And if it's your mom who's graduating, she'll keep it forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or if it's your son that likes your cards, he might reuse it. <laughs> yeah, to be sure so don't write on it, right? Right. Um, so this I'm just going to put right up here. So yeah, you can decorate the inside. I don't think it quite fits a gift card, but I think you could put like some type of, if you didn't attach this all the way across, if you just attached it on the ends, you could probably tuck a bill or a check in there. That would be nice. Because that's what the grads want anyways. They want the cash. Maybe not necessarily for the cash. Maybe they're saving for college. 
Um, but yes, I think if you did not, if you just attached these on the ends, you could tuck some money or a check down in the center part right there. And then you could write your little bit of sappy note right here. Or just a, hey, good luck. Okay, now let's see. I've got a couple things that I can attach on the inside. So let's get my micro dot adhesive out for that. The paper that I'm using, the gold that I used, is one of my favorites that I use a lot, which would be the brushed gold. And I could <coughs> pop these up with foam tape, but I'm not gonna. <coughs> I'm just gonna stick them down. Josh is gonna appreciate it, popped up or not popped up, because that's just how he rolls. All right, so there we have our good luck on the inside, and then we're just gonna add our, and again, these are these dies are from Impression Obsession. Just adding a couple things on the inside. So yeah, that's the inside of our card. And then for the outside, I mentioned that you can make your own paper tassel. So I'm using a text weight paper. Um, and when I say text weight paper, this is an 80 pound text weight paper. We talked about papers before and you can have an 80 pound text paper and an 80 pound cardstock and the text paper, you see that it is more like a computer paper. It is a little bit thicker than a computer paper, but I'm using the text weight paper and it is an 80 pound. Um, so poundage really doesn't mean anything because it's, you have 80 pound cardstock, you have 80 pound text. And I am just cutting just little slits in it, kind of close together. And the one tool that I pulled out for this was my quilling tool, which you probably have one and haven't used it in ages. I know I hadn't used mine in ages. So you could make one of these, you could make a tassel out of some embroidery floss. That would work perfectly fine too. Um, but I just wanted to show you how to make it out of text paper. In case you don't have embroidery, embroidery floss, you can go to your um, paper stash. Now cardstock will not work because it's too, well, it's just a little stiff. And I could go and make a really big tassel if I wanted and just keep going, but I think I'm gonna stop pretty soon. Um, so I'm taking my quilling tool, actually, I'm gonna just snip it off here. I'm gonna do a few more. How's that? Now, while, while I'm snipping, I have a question for all of you. Um, on the waterfall cards that I showed before, the birthday one I already have pre-colored. <clears throat> it's already pre-colored and ready to go. The floral one I did not color yet. So my question to all of you is, do you prefer when we're doing cards like that, that I pre-color them um, so we can just put them together? or do you like coloring your own? So just let me know, I'm just curious. Um, I am gonna put a little tape on the end. So then when I get to the end, it sticks. So yeah, I'm just kind of wondering when I do like um, waterfall cards and some other cards, whether you, or twist and pop cards, I've done it where I pre-colored it. Do you like when I pre-color the images? Or do you like to color it yourself? Oh, so yes, pre-cooked, pre-colored, pre pre-colored, <laughs> um, pre-cooked. Anyways, so there's a little slit in here, so I just insert the into the the text paper into my little slit, and now I am just going to roll that. So that's my quilling tool. Which yeah, I do not use my quilling tool very often. When I got this card out today, I'm like, huh. I need to find my quilling tool. 
luckily I knew right where it was. Okay, so the tape that I had on the end kind of held that together. I probably did it too big, but that's okay. Um, so I'm just going to mash that down just so it's easier to attach. And now I can make that, so this is my little tassel. I can make that as long or as short as I want. Right now, if I'm going to stick it in the middle, it is probably a little bit too long. Would a fine point tweezers work? Um, yeah, a fine point tweezers would work as long as you can kind of hold it while you are doing it. So you just need to hold it together. So yeah, I have my little, my little tassel out of paper. Um, now I'm going to attach that. It's probably best to attach it with some type of glue. I, for um, sake of just doing it on camera, am going to use my ATG tape. So I'm putting it right in the middle. I do have a brad that I actually cut the pieces off. So and that I am going to use some crystal lacquer because it's a little bit thicker. Now I was just using this today so let's see if it actually comes out. Nope. I need to get a pin. My crystal lacquer always gums up at the top. I should probably turn it upside down on a piece of wet paper towel <clears throat> and just store it that way. Oh, come on. <laughs> now we're going to have it all over, you know? Come on, Crystal <clears throat> Lacquer. Yeah, that's probably the better idea is to get a piece of scratch paper out and do it on that. Oh, I can't believe this. I was just using this this afternoon. Okay. All right, maybe we are not using this crystal lacquer. Oh, yeah. Can you take the cover off, Sarah, and just dab it with your pen? Oh, got it. Oh. There, see, that's why I did it off, yeah. <laughs> off to the side. Ooh. Ooh. <clears throat> All right. I'm not going to dab it with my quilling tool, that's for sure. No. Um, but let's take a little piece of paper and just put some on there. And I'm also going to put some on here. And yes, I have a nice dab of crystal lacquer. I do like my crystal lacquer when I really need to attach things. Because it does dry. It's kind of goopy and it dries pretty solid. Although this, I don't know, is drying pretty solid. Um, so anyways probably going to fall off now that I'm I need something heavy on there okay to keep it flat okay so now I'm going to put my little dude on there my little walking graduate and I have some pre-cut foam tape now when you're attaching him if he's going to be hanging off at all just make sure that um, you don't put adhesive where he's hanging off done with this one and then I'm going to do one more quick one because that's how quick and easy these are. Pre-cut, pre-scored, ready to go. So yeah, there's our grad cap card with our inside. So let's just set this one aside and we'll go on to our other one really quick. Okay, so for this one, I am doing a white one. Okay. 
Okay, so again, the folding is the diagonal folds fold in one direction, depending on which side you're on. We're on the inside, so we're going to valley fold it, valley fold it, and then we're going to mountain fold, which is the opposite fold on the straight one, fold it in and fold it down. I am going to use a layer, and I'll show you why in just a minute. Um, I'm going to do a little brush blending in, in yellow. So, I don't know. I like yellow lately. It's a happy color. <laughs> I did have to keep it folded when I was doing that one edge. Or I didn't actually have to, because this is the back anyways. And I'm going to do a little bit down near the bottom. All right, now I did pre-cut. I used the pattern paper that we had last week, and I pre-cut one of our scallop frames. And I am just going to add that to the front. Um, let's see. I could use my dot roller. I'm going to be brave and get my big tape gun out. Or I could use my micro dot adhesive. So this is our circle scallop frame. And it fits perfectly on the front of the grad cap card. Okay, and it has little pokes that I could poke all those out, although I'll probably add little gems there. And then this is the center for that same die, and I pre-stamped it just with a thinking of you, and I'm going to pop that up. I did pre-do some of these pieces. Sometimes I come into my Thursday night not knowing exactly what I'm doing. Tonight I was a little bit more prepared. So this is our scallop circle frame, and I cut it out in the purple, and I cut it out in white. Now the purple was um, a text weight paper, so when I cut it out in the white, I used that behind the text weight paper just to firm it up a little bit. And I have my thinking of you. And then I did cut out some flowers also, just for funsies. And I'm just going to layer those. This is from, um, it's a really old die set of ours, and it's our circle layering die set that has some flowers on it. Um, so I'm just going to attach some of those. I did have a little, <laughs> you know, these little rollers, though, don't stick. So I shouldn't even use that because I'll come back, you know, in a month, and it'll the piece will be falling off. So yeah, I don't even know why I have that because it's, it's just quick and easy if I just need to tack something down. So that's purple mirror card. This, I'm just going to offset it just a hair. This is the wild, wild orchid miri lava, which I think I mentioned, or miri sparkle. I think I mentioned that it's discontinued. We just have it left in 8.5 by 11. So I'm just going to offset that just a little bit. Um, and then I did cut out another purple one. This one I'm going to pop up a little bit just to give it a little dimension because I don't have enough layers on there so let's just mm -hmm. give it a little bit of a pop. And then I found, you know, in my stamp room I have a ton of stuff so I did find um, this little container that had these little gems in it. I thought they were kind of fun. And now I'm just going to take my crystal lacquer that I have a whole big pile of. And this is why I used the yellow, because I found these little yellow, these little yellow gems. Okay, so that's basically the front of my card. On the inside, oops, I colored the wrong thing. I'm going to add some yellow color to my layer. And you're probably like, why are you using the white on the white? Well, I'll show you that. Because 
to keep this one closed, like the grad <laughs> cap one, I didn't have a closure on. It just kind of is, you know, goes in the envelope, is closed, and then they open it up. But this one, I'm actually going to put a closure on. So I'm going to show you the closure. Let's add a little bit of yellow all the way around. Yellow is just kind of a happy color. <clears throat> okay, so now to keep this closed, I've done it before where I've done a band that goes all the way around. But today when I was doing this, I was like, why can't I just take this piece, bend it around and have a closure just attached to the back so it doesn't actually fold back onto the back of the card. It just kind of, you're using it on your grad cap layer as a closure and you'll attach it that way and then this, you know, will just fit right underneath there. So that's what I'm going to use to close it this time. So, all right. So I've got that. And I wasn't sure I was going to back this with something um, just so my word fit on there. And I think I'm going to use the this purple mirror card. So I don't want to bend the purple mirror card around it. So I'm just going to cut the purple mirror card to fit on here. So I'm just going to kind of go for it. That'll work. Okay, so I'm just going to attach that. Is the base cut from a 12 by 12 sheet? The base is, hang on, I'll get my ruler out. Um, we sell them, but let me measure it for you in case you want to just buy one and use it as a template. It is actually, I don't think it is. I think it is, you can get it out of an eight and a half by 11 because it is four and a quarter this way. And this way it is nine and, nine and a smidge over five eighths. So you could get two out of an So you can get two out of an eight and a half by 11. Okay, so we have our little band and that is going to, I'm only going to put tape now on our two ends right here because that's going to attach to the back of our grad cap layer. And I do for placement want to see where I want to put it because I don't want it too far up there. I just want the little tip of it to tuck underneath to keep it as kind of like a closure. Okay. So now I'm just going to bend those over. And now I can put tape on the back of here and this is going to attach on the inside of the card. And then my closure is done. Yeah, I've done it where I've had a band and the band, you know, comes off and on. But then today when I was doing it, I'm like, why do you have to make a band that, you know, because then the band can get lost because I have some samples that no longer have the band with them. Um, so this way it makes just like this little closure that you can tuck it underneath. Okay, so yeah, I thought that was kind of a good idea. That was a today idea. So now we have our word hugs that I'm going to put on my micro dot adhesive sheet. <laughs> Are you going to recap at the end so I can hear what I missed? Oh, <laughs> I'll recap a little. Um, not going to recap the whole thing, but you can always watch the replay. Yep, the replay will be here. So I'm putting the word hugs on there, and I do have, I will end up adding some more of these little yellow gems on there. I'm not going to do that right now, um, but I'm going to open it up. And remember how on the grad cap one we put something <coughs> up here? I took a piece of the same patterned paper, and I cut it to fit right inside here. I'm going to put an adhesive on it.
So yeah, that's what's nice about um, streaming to Facebook and to YouTube. The video is always here on Facebook, but then it's always on my YouTube channel too. So actually quite often when people ask me, you know, how do I do this card? Or today somebody asked about a cascading card. So I just went, boop, went back about to when we did the ocean one and I did the link and bam, they have their little demo of it. So I pre-stamped this, this is Endless Creations. I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow to it. So then it kind of coordinates with the rest of the card. And now I'm going to pop that up a little bit. See, I was testing stuff on the back, obviously. Paper has two sides for a reason. You can test stuff, and then you can use the other side as your good side. I do that quite often. Turn it over, test my ink, test the stamps, um, and then go to the other side and stamp what I really want. So yeah, that, this one, which I'm going to add some gems to, I'm not going to do it on video, I'll do a little recap. Um, so on our... Um, our grad cap card this is our think outside the box and use it for something else so this is our thinking of you card sending hugs and yeah smile life's too short to be anything but happy so that's our think outside the box card and then we have our grad cap card which in our kit remember you get the card the layer and then a coordinating square and a coordinating strip. You don't get the ta paper tassels we made, um, and you don't get the grad and the die cuts. But So yeah, that's our grad cap card. Um, pretty easy, already pre-scored and pre-cut. It's just a matter of folding it, folding it, folding it, and then folding in to get our the top of our grad cap. But think outside the box and use it for something else. So thank you for joining me tonight and watch for an email and some more classes that you can order, which I'm going to give you instructions for if you already ordered the magic card one, how you can handle the shipping for that. So question. Do those grad cap cards come in a pack for the non-grad card or is it a kit? Um, they just come in a pack. So like this one, is just the white card that I just added pieces to. Um, I did add the grad cap layer, which is just the piece that goes on the inside. You don't have to use it. Um, I just put it on the inside. Where do we See find this those piece on, your on the inside? Pardon? Where do you find those kits on the website? Um, I think they're under die cut cards and kits. If you just type in the word grad on the search bar, they should come up. Okay. I think my mom will find them for you and she will um, connect you to the link. So yes, you can get just, this is just the card <clears throat> and the envelopes. This is just the layer. This one has the pieces for like some different grad colors. Or there's the black and white one that just comes with the card plus our layer, which is that. So thank you for joining me tonight. And yes, watch for an email from me about our Waterfall Friday and our next Fun Time Thursday. Bye, guys. Have a great night.